continue any longer. The residents uh, must not have that. And I, I went to a workshop and there was, uh, and I spoke about this issue. And there's a chap calling himself Engineer Chinaka. Now this Engineer Chinaka was warning me not to speak about uh, issues of uh, 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 our power plant, our, our, our equipment, and the bills that we are paying. Word of advice to this engineer, China, who is issuing out bitterness <coughs> in terms of electricity. Abana Chinona Kapana Wachinaka. Wachinaka. Panamuri engineer of ZETDC. These things were built by the residents. The residents built their power station. They wanted to provide electricity for the waterworks, sewage works, and the street lighting. And you cannot take from the residents of Arad and start charging them for things that they built themselves. And when we ask that we, 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 we want our power station back, we want our electricity back, you start warning us not to start battles we can't finish. This is a battle that we can finish, and it's not even a battle. It's the residents who built the power station. They wanted it used for the treatment of their water, and that is what we want to do. This idea of forcing us to pay for electricity <coughs> that we produce is not sustainable. We are, you are charging us commercial rates for electricity, you charge us, but yet we are providing electricity for, what do you call it? For people, on a cost recovery basis, isn't it? Yeah, we are charging on a cost recovery basis. We are not even charging at a premium. So we need uh, uh, this issue to be sorted out. And it's no longer sustainable for us to be getting a bill close to one million US dollars from ZESA for the water treatment and other operations of council at a commercial rate and at a peak rate, it's unsustainable. So we need to solve this issue and we need to get our electricity making capacity back. If we now need to make it from solar, let's do it, utilize water farm, utilize another farm, and we produce close to 200 megawatts and we sell it to the residents. That is the excess that we cannot use. So these processes of getting solar farms must be accelerated. I received a petition from Glen Duzi, Ward 38132 on May 23, imploring council to expedite and finalize labor issues and cases as we make for court guided by the law to dismiss or permanently bring back workers to assume duty. I think uh, that is the HR committee to deal with those is issues. We received another petition from residents of Zarasekwa, was 39 and 40 were affected by non-implementation of a council resolution made at a special council meeting held on 9th November 2023 for council to dispose council rented premises to city tenants. This, this seems to be problematic. What is the problem with this issue of selling houses to city tenants? Maybe the housing committee needs to sit down and come up with a coherent plan to deal with this issue. Sorry, only. Mm -hmm. I think it's still on that as well. I think that must be even that very difficult to buy flats. Because currently, the uh, issues are alarming issues. They are using electricity, but the bills still coming back to our street of our life. We are paying all the bills, there's a bill which is being used by the people who do well do a lot of activities in the bank. So if you give those people the city tenants in the bank, then you transfer the rates and everything to, 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 the, to, the, to the tenants. I think that should be uh, considered as the main effect of the OG. Okay, so we are receiving a report on that issue. Okay, so the, that is to be expedite, expedited. We received a petition from cluster chairperson representing Harare province, independent junior schools and ECD centre, objecting to the rampant increase in health registration fee. Let us reduce a uh, the, what is the, <laughs> it's a rampant increase. <laughs> our, our health registration fees increased. Is there anyone from health? Yes. yes.
there's, a, there's an issue, there seems to be a problem with our licensing fees. It's not only health, small shops and other hair salons, barber shops, and so forth seem to be complaining. There's something, something I miss with our licensing fees. Can't we develop uh, more categories of businesses so that we are able to charge proportionally to that uh, relevant business so that they don't drown under the weight of unsustainable fees? Some that are high, why don't we design a quarterly, a quarterly payment system so that they can pay if we are not reducing the pay per quarter, per quarter, per quarter? You understand? Yes. Yeah. So, but that needs to be done agent because small to medium businesses uh, are claiming that our fees are, are, are prohibiting them from entering into business. Okay, thank you. I uh, received an application from uh, the Enamos Football Club requesting council to allocate them a sports shop at Rufaro Stadium. Uh, we met with the delegation from the Enamos Football Club. They are like other clubs keen to help and assist uh, us with the issues around Rufaro Stadium and anticipating the opening of the stadium and they would want to use it as their home ground. So let's work on these issues, uh, Chair Business. Then we received a petition on 16 June, 10 citizen organizations, namely Community Water Alliance, Young Volunteers for Environment, Combined Alarm Resistance Association, Red Light Zimbabwe, Conservation Society of Monaville, Blue Agenda, Marlboro Environment Action Group, Cleveland Action Alliance, Arari Wetlands Trust, and Zwarek Osekwa Conservation Trust, pleading with Council to exercise its representative oversight, oversight and administrative role on wetlands preservation. So what we are going to be doing is that we need really to map these, uh, uh, these wetlands. We need to protect wetlands. I'm understanding that there are new invasions uh, by people hoping for regularization. We need to clearly communicate that we are not going to tolerate uh, new invasions and that uh, people must be warned that uh, land barons are taking advantage of people. District officers, you must be alert and please issue pamphlets, warnings to people so that they don't get their money taken by, uh, by land barons. And we must come up with a way of having a register of land barons and a way of prosecuting these land barons and getting compensation from them for monies that they would have taken from unsuspecting residents. I think we need to be a bit more robust. We need to fence our land or the land, the council, and put armed uh, uh, patrolmen uh, 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 around those, uh, those properties or around that land because uh, people are going to lose their hard-earned money uh, from land barons if we are not careful. But we will not allow fresh land invasions, and will also not allow the land and urban land to be used as cannon fodder for political campaigns as we go into uh, 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 this election. Let's allow for an orderly uh, development of land, and, and our departments must start working using estate funds to, to, to deal with land development. I received I received a letter dated 16 June 2023 from the Harare City <coughs> Football Club, the interim chairman advising me of the financial crisis of the club, the result being the club can no longer continue fulfilling its matches due to financial in incapacitation. I, I, I recall that uh, this uh, club uh, was sponsored <coughs> primarily before by our businesses. It was sponsored by Rufaro and it was called Rufaro Rovers. 
uh, we do have companies that are engaged in business that are wholly owned by the city. We cannot continue with a situation where the club gets money from rate payers. The rate money are problematic in the sense that they need to be used in other agent cases. So I think we need to look at a situation, business chair, where these uh, uh, entities that are our uh, 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 working for us bear part of the uh, the club the club expenses, so that they come up with a timetable where we will win the club from the city council. From now, they can uh, people can propose whether they take 50 percent or 40 percent <coughs> of the budget of the. Club, it has to be done by our sister clubs. Now that we are resuscitating, uh, we have resuscitated Rufaroism. Yeah. And uh, now we are getting money uh, uh, from Rufaro, private limited, only month to month basis. Uh, 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 we have dealt with those space barons, thieves, looters, uh, the looting committee that had been organized by. Uh, what's his name, Tiruafanza, who uh, completely looting uh, Rufaro Market. Right, now we have a board where the chamber sector is part of it and other reputable uh, <laughs> members of society. And uh, we are now getting revenue from that club. So I think as part of their social responsibilities, we, we, we can suggest that they uh, be able to deal with these issues. Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> Since uh, the club has got a history with the referral marketing and uh, what you are saying, we can as well say that uh, the budgetary issues to do with the uh, RST, 50% can be come from the farm, then another 50% come from uh, City Park. Meanwhile, they are waiting for them to get on their feet. When they get on their feet, they are in a position to get sponsors from outside to win them from those two companies. So I'm actually supporting your motion that we have those uh, two entities, City Park and um, Rufaro Marketing, supporting Arare City with the 50% of Arare City budget going to City Park, 50% going to Rufaro Marketing. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Okay. So what we can do is probably, let's look at that percentage. It looks a bit high from now. So far, yes, it's bringing money, but uh, it's still, uh, we might, it's still on its, uh, it's a toddler. And uh, that is, you know, when you are resuscitating someone, uh, you can't give him two wives uh, immediately. Thank you. I don't know to <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, it's a good suggestion that is coming, Your Worship. But at the same time, remember, like what you are now realizing, that uh, we are resuscitating. Then when <laughs> we are resuscitating and then you give them extra pile of work, uh, then you want the business to fall uh, apart before they even stand on their feet. So I was suggesting that if there is any debate, on the issues to do with sponsorship uh, towards our football, we can then bring it back to commit. Yeah. Then we look for a better, sustainable solution so that we can help uh, uh, the, 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 the Arari City football, rather than to, to rush them to make uh, conclusions on percentage and, and, and everything. So I'm suggesting that we can take it to commit, then we discuss and we come up with a with a solution. I, I just want to invest in the rate payers immediately, <laughs> but I think uh, <coughs> the concerns of the rate payers is at the bottom of our hearts, uh, particularly this year uh, and many years. So let's look at that. What city parking and uh, 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 and uh, and and. Uh, 
referral marketing can look at what percentage they can take uh, from that. So maybe the, the, the resolution might be that it be referred to, to your committee, but you need to sit immediately because our, <coughs> our rate account uh, uh, cannot sustain. It needs a timetable. Uh, the chair of finance is not in vigorously. I know that uh, I had communication from ZIFA. Uh, they were asking me to be considerate in terms of uh, the decisions we make in relation to SOCA. You know, ZIFA is relying on us. And uh, because of that undertaking, let's have that meeting as uh, soon as possible this week. Then we, you sit with finance and come up with the timetable. We can start off with the 50 percent, then by next year it gets to 75 until we win off from uh, uh, the finance, from the red account completely. Uh, is that so, finance director? So, but what we will do is we will add the sports I, I think are not much of a strain, isn't it? From the, yes? Yeah, so other sports, because we have a drug problem and so forth, other sports are low cost, so we should be able to keep that support uh, to the other sports uh, there, but particularly because soccer has got uh, demanding requirements from its mother bodies, we need to move it to our commercial entities and take it from the rate account. Yes, so we are taking that from the rate account. But for now, we keep supporting it until a framework is done. They are going to close, uh, I think they are left with three games, and then they will have a month, a month break. So during that break, we can then put our house in order so that uh, we win off uh, 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 we win uh, the teams from the red account progressive. I received a letter from the Rentals College Football Club dated 19th June 2023 where they are seeking to uh, partner with the city in the refurbishment of Rufaro Stadium. I must commend the approach by the Rentals Football Club. Uh, the approach is to assist so what they have done is that they have said they are willing to assist with the plumbing of Rufar because they build schools and so forth. So they say that if they get the bill of quantities, they get uh, uh, the, the work done, they will be able to support us with the, with the plumbing works, including uh, and not limited to bringing their own workers on site. So I do hope, and, and this is the kind of assistance the city expects from business. Uh, no condition associated support. All they said is that when we charge them fees going forward, we can then factor in a, a discount to the extent that they contributed. They are not taking a lease. They are not asking for land elsewhere in, 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 in lieu of their support. Now, other business people, when they read that the council is in financial problem, they start phoning to say, we can pay for this, we can pay your salary, provided you give us land. We can pay for this, provided you give us this and that. Now, that is not assistance. That is taking advantage of the residents. This offer from a rent house is assistance and working together and is a partnership. So we, we, we need to, uh, uh, the level committee is, Agotora uh, is there, is going to break. And you know, this is time it's primary season, <laughs> election season. So no one can go up, prescribe a number of prayers <laughs> during the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vice is here. Yeah. Yes, let's grab. Number one, number five. Pass 
Yes, um, I'm on item number six, where the issue is talking to a little bit of value. Uh, it was important to resolve that uh, the payment of a little bit will be suspended until they receive uh, the OSOP. Uh, I'm against the, the, the proposal of your worship that uh, the payment be stopped. What council is bleeding as we speak in terms of uh, revenue collection is one of uh, revenue stream. Why can't we collect the, the electricity for now? Yes, what's the rationale of the chairperson yes, yes. of stopping the payment of finance? Did you agree to that? Hmm? No. Actually, yeah, I, I think it should come to finance phase. Yeah. Why don't we refer it back to the committee? And then, we, uh, and then we can, it can be dealt with some of these things to deal with money and so forth. Please coordinate with the chair of finance before you make the decisions that have an impact on the financial well-being of council. It's very important that uh, either the process, you can call for a joint meeting and uh, everyone discusses it, then it comes to full council. So it met on the 6th of June as well as on the 8th of June 2020.
Let's proceed. Let's have a chair. I report and move.
fellowship, uh, HR and major recognition. And some of the meetings we then moved ahead. So the yes, the 24th was uh, 2026. Yes, uh, Councillor, please go. Thank, thank you. Uh, I just want to try to assist from the HR and the chair the result of the Maybe the, 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 the correct way to the recommendation is that it should be not, not correct. What is the result? Sorry, uh, it wasn't even a result matter, it was a recommendation. Because it's not, it's not a policy related issue. So I think there was actually an error in capturing that. It was not supposed to be a resolved item, but a recommendation. So on the recommendation, uh, it's supposed to state that the TC does a report. Are you on that? Item, 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 <laughs> item six for the 26th. Uh, are we not on the 26th of May? Yeah. I think it's in order. Yes. Thank you.
Sixth Digit, the fifth of June. Number four, recommendation number two and number three. I would like them to read that pending the meeting with the minister, uh, we recommend that the issues be dealt with on a case by case basis by the town clerk and the relevant heads of department for all lower grades. Item six. Yes. Item four. They said uh, on the 8th of June, June right? No, 6th. 6th, okay. If it's the 6th, then it's okay. So I report and move.
Um, I would like to make amendments on item number four uh, on the resolution on the recommendation B, uh, paragraph two and three. Uh, I would want them to read that pending the meeting with the Minister of Local Government, um, the issues be dealt with on a case by case basis by the town clerk and relevant heads of department for lower grades starting from grade six um, up to 16. Yes, Thank you very much, Your Worship. Uh, I don't know, I tend to be guided. The Labor Act takes precedence on all labor matters. Am I correct, Your Worship? Yes, yes. Right. <coughs> now, on uh, what was being amended by Madam Chair, they are talking of meeting the Minister of Labor, blah, blah, blah. I thought in terms of labor issues, we have to deal with the Labor Act. The Labor Act, I think it's a uh, section two, it is very clear that any matter to do with labor issues, the Labor Act takes precedent. Yes. The Minister of Labor takes precedent on labor matters. I've been observing that for the last three years. You have been paying people while they are saying that they are suspended, while they are at home. But the Labor Act doesn't say that. And we are purporting that because the Minister of Local Government say it suspend people because they've got uh, cases. And the cases, they are labor cases. What takes precedent on labor cases is the Labor Act. So automatically what it means, as a council, we are already in error for the last three years. If uh, I would think that the town clerk or the chamber, the town clerk, who writes to the minister, highlighting that on issues to do with labor matters, we deal, we follow what the law says. Because the law is very clear, it says the Labor Act takes precedent on anything else that is there. What it means is whatever discussion that has been made under the guise of the Minister of Local Government purporting to be labor issues, they'll become null and void because it's not responsible for labor issues. Number one. Number two, if you go to SI 135 of 2012 of City of Harare, it deals with issues of acting appointments. You would find that people who have been suspended for the last three, four, five years, we are employing people to act in that position, paying again. City of Ara is paying two people for one position in complete breach of the Labor Act. Because the Labor Act, again, has got a time frame for suspension. When you suspend someone, you must bring them and bring the matter to finality. It takes two years for you to bring a Labor matter to finality. Now we have got more than two years, someone is on suspension, is being paid, and the same position is being paid against someone else. When you start paying someone sitting at home, the allowance, the US dollar, everything we are giving to the people. The reason being because we have got a ministry of, of uh, local government dealing with the minister, minister of labor issues. So my proposal, Your Worship, matters that have got to do with labor, we stick to the Labor Act and the relevant statute that deals with labor. When the HR committee sit to resolve issues to do with labor matters, whether it's overdue suspension or whatever it is, let them stick to the Labor Act. We don't make new laws on labor issues as council. We follow the Labor Act and the various SI that we have made, especially SI 135 of 2012 and the grievance a handling procedure. So, Your Worship, in conclusion, I am saying, yes, what they are saying is correct, but you have people at the expenses of repairs money, number one. Number two, in terms of the labor issues, labor matters, the moment we begin to raise labor issues, those people, we are going to lose those cases to labor court. Why don't you turn clerk right to the Minister of Local Government advising that the issues to do with the Labour allow us to follow the Labour law? Issues to do with local government, we do either we obey Mariman Gekinano from the Minister of Local Government. I'm very worried at the rate you are pounding out money, paying people sitting at home, purporting to follow a direct
directive that is not correct at law, and you are also making resolutions that are not, that are not correct at law. So your, your worship, the labor issues, they must be dealt strictly according to the Labor Act, not to the Urban Council Act. It doesn't affect labor issues. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Yeah, yeah, we hear we, you, we, Councillor Duma. Uh, I will allow the Chair to respond, but I'm very uh, privy that uh, they are handling those issues uh, as a committee. Maybe I will allow the Chair to, to, to share with you. Um, thank you very much, Your Worship. Um, I think as a committee, we are in total agreement with what uh, Chairman Duma is raising. And this is why we've seen that we've done the necessary steps to make sure that you know we request from the town clerk reports of the financial implications, you know, the financial losses to council, so that we have all the residents and all the stakeholders have a clear picture of you know the, 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 the prejudice that council is facing. It is true that you know the Minister of Labour uh, is the person that maybe we should be consulting on such matters, not the Minister of Local Government. And I think in our meeting, we actually requested for a meeting with the Minister of Local Government so that we can sit in that meeting as the HR committee and notify him of some of these irregularities uh, that have been done you know, through the ministerial directive that he gave. But uh, we have done very progressive recommendations. Um, we've got employees that are affected by this and they are actually back at work uh, doing their normal duties. Thank you. Thank you. I think what Councillor Duma is saying resonates well with what uh, the HRG has just said. She has made amendments which will then seek to achieve whatever you uh, are needed to. But just to correct something, people are not on suspension. They are on paid leave. Not suspension. Who is paid? It's Councillor. It's not suspension, it's paid leave. But what uh, Councillor Gazzoni has said, seeks to highlight that. And I hope the meeting with the Minister will be able to do that. Yes, Councillor Gunash. Thank you, Your Worship. I think uh, Councillor Duma proposed this proposal. Uh, I second what he proposed. And then, on another note, um, to one also with the work which he has articulated and how that. Uh, the workers are on paid leave. Uh, maybe if we still go back to that labor act, per se, for how long should a worker be on paid leave? Should he be on paid leave for the whole of the tenure of his contract? Because he might be on a two-year contract, then you'll be placed on paid leave for the whole tenure of your contract. You are employed in council to go on pay to defeat it. That is outside in terms of the law. But it seems what Councillor uh, Duma has raised resonates with uh, what the HR chair has uh, 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 highlighted. So it seems we are talking the same thing. But then you have got a question uh, which you have posed, but, uh, I think that, 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 sorry, sorry, Your Worship. I just wanted to a clarity. We don't come here to play games. And to pay someone at home for two years is not a job. How much is a director of City of Arai getting paid per month in allowances and everything? How much would that money have done to my what 43 million right? What I'm saying is, if you have got two years paid leave, who put them on that paid leave? If it is us, then we, I'm proposing that we remove them from that paid leave. So Sarah Minister Ganari have a case of a paid leave. If it is us, you put them on paid leave because you are their employer. So if they are on paid leave, bring them back to work, leave your are paid. That is what I'm proposing, Your Worship. But, but maybe I will suggest with uh, the HR chair, the committee who will look into the, the time frame, the paid leave, then they will propose to this council. That you could see what they never talk as we speak, I can't. I don't know, uh, HRH. Can we propose to put some room down to Toto Tuatsoka? 
audit, audit made on the 23rd of May 2023. <laughs> Item five. Okay. Let's speak to the that investigation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So resolutions one to thirteen. Any issues regarding resolutions one to thirteen? There are no issues. Recommendation under item fourteen. Agreed. Item 15. Agreed. We now proceed to finance and development. To make on the 15th of May 2020. Uh, the outgoing mayor, Mante, will report a move. Thank you, Your Worship. I got a move. Resolution is 1 to 10. Full council. Any issues? There are no issues. Recommendation under item 11. Agreed. Item 4. Agreed. Councillor Mande, uh, on item to do with the uh, Chenesa Harare close cleaners, we need to expedite the payment. On item, item, item four. Yes, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, there was um, a discussion on the evaluation of the job done. So we had proposed that the FD and the HR uh, submit a report on, on how they've evaluated and how they are going to distribute the, the, the funds to the, uh, to the people who assisted in the Genesis Gen report. Yeah, because the dollar today is not a dollar. Yes, I, I understand, Your, your Worship. Supplementary agenda. We also have another set of finance committee meetings. Minutes we need to discuss. They are dated 12th of June 2023. Councillor Mandel will report the move. 12th of June 2023. On the Thank you, Your Worship. This is the progress on the uh, <coughs> acquiring of the ERP system. So there are some recommendations that came through the, the steering committee. So with that, I report a move. Thank you. Resolution under item one. No issues. Recommendations under item two. Agreed. Item three. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Councillor Azonde. Um, thank you very much. <coughs> I just would like to bring special attention to item number three, where it says imminent incapacitation to fund council obligations in view of the volatility in the macroeconomic environment. And I want to put in my submission from an HR perspective. Um, we have been having collective bargaining agreements every month for the past seven months. Uh, in a normal economy, you'd probably be having these negotiations once a year, maybe at times even once every two years. But for the city of Harare, we've been having them every month. So this basically means that at the end of every month, we have to sit with the unions, we sit, we analyze our resources, and then try and make the necessary adjustments to try and push it our city council employees 
And this has been um, a very tall order for us as policymakers, because no matter how hard or how much we try to try and cushion the employee of the city of Harare, we are always then just found wanting. Um, I'll give an example of the last month where we went over and we actually um, gave our employees more than that they asked for. But within four days, Tato Rana Payroll, Marianga Sara Isisirichu. And at the end of the day, Munona Shan Begre Council, very incapacitated. Vasina Kana Shungwe, Kutitoya Sei, Basapatona, Toya teaches with us say, Vanavano Jay, Vanavano Keke. You know, because at the end of the day, in Shangwe Council, Abu Garamu Zimbabwe, Atukutaro Kuti, my landlord, Vanilla Chidama US dollars. A panel landlord, Muno Marara for Badariza, Ara TGS. And then Mono to Rumende, Inopa, Babo Shadima US dollars. I think that I'm going to raise up. She requests a mayor Kuti, Mukwani Sefu Sangan and a governor, Minister of Finance, and Minister of Local Government, Muchiva Ratiza or Kuti. Isu is a good Arari. Vashandi le do, vashandi le muno mo arare, vashandi le muno mo Zimbabwe. Wanu ne kwa zero zavo zinenge zishida kuchenge tezwa. Tichito yenda iko juno taka nanga na ne end of June. And tuto ziri kuti le tuto vashandi vane zawa tizo tambira mari. Iko juno na kuti kadoto mshandi we kanzo tambira two million dollars. Reality yaka pinam street two million is not even two hundred dollars. Saka juno rewe isu tuka na chukuta oranda kapata report yanda piwa na finance chair yavar kuti yavar ku collector. 36 billion, 35 billion, you have to collect every month. You should have 9,300 versions of the non But Maria said, No, Pierre, service delivery is not for me. No, she knows she needs to talk about the very way we are. challenges that you need to face as a good. To know one of my counselors, but she took out a show of words. Kunza Panasha, who beat a Marodia Akashata, Mararaka Sara, but she did not go off to Nepusana, put her room where do you put it out seeing. I must put it by Marino Quana, but Chopa did Niger Chipana put out. Did you put his Zimbabwe ino, Niger Chukuram, Jina Shlok Mira Shakana? Not to own our Kurwa Chita or Chiti no economy, it put all Budilam Bay. It cheaper matana, I engaged up home, said as you put it. Sit of a rather school of one empty charge, I can only one from my US dollars. But one of the Susu McLean's made with my embassies, with my fuel stations. But no, but but no, 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 but but no, but no, but no, so, Munuana and Vapus won a shaka for zero. Mandy changed the chicken to town to the city of Barari. She gets a five months in those who were paying twenty dollars, no badger of country. But he used to say, Good, are we getting value for money from from my spirit? That thing at Tisina, that thing is Niger Shimuan. Tisina put my efforts at Kakwan, a cook later. Tisina my efforts, a good tragedy that would remain there to Nayato Shitat. Parapoto, Dr. Pato, it have a lot of garrip and which it to one or two things I just say. Thank you, thank you very much, Councillor Kurumbe, for uh, sharing with us the flight to Rashandi. But somebody said uh, RTGS is the tourist currency. No, thank you, Your Worship. At least, Chokwad. Could the RTGS But in Challenge at I checked in the revenue officer of memory. One of Billa, my residence, maybe around seven, eight. Then Munanzo Padara, Maria Billy Ware, Munan, maybe end of month. Pano Biliwa, maybe building it at 20 US. Pano receiver, be under the really keep at 20 US. But the Pano Badara, um, one of the Badara, you are two dollars with the currency. So my question is, if now FD with the, this current environment, I didn't have an app. It is true, could the Pano Yoko Tizo, Tipan Sukutuane. 
yet not the advice. My financial expert, you my currency are now as a seat, so that we are able to advise government on my position. Otherwise, this city might collapse. Why I'm saying so? I know most of my castles. Ukuti castle, everyone about castle, and there's a motor in my US. I think the Abba Dare Mari, the equivalent to 200 US. You wish you hope my But the current 200 US by then could be now less than 30 dollars, which is actually a danger to sit both my influence and Anodzika. So there is a need, you could as a matter of agents, to know an affair in Georgia. Advice, say sit vis a vis, my question, Annie, and so that we get proper advice. But I also agree, could even if you can charge anything in my US, Zorafa Nemvura, Sua, Maret, Nusoka, it will remain with you, Arima, Arima, RTGS, because we understand with most of our residents. Adini, Ava, Tambirima, US, Mabasawan, Pau, but the answer my embassy, my castle, every business trader, are not Badara. No my US, I can assure you, worship, failure to do this now, this is to collapse the Qatarism. Mm -hmm. But if my point about my comment, maybe it is too bad. Thank you, worship. If we go to that report on the recommendations, uh, there are certain recommendations that we have to put in there so that we are able to, to keep the value of, of our money. The first thing is we are saying, we want to start billing in US dollars immediately. So I expect in the July bill, if we can manage it, we to start coming out with US dollars. And then for payments, according to the laws, we we'll say we'll be able to pay in either US dollars or RTGS only rate for that particular thing that you make a payment. Then we, we managed to meet um, some members of the Monetary Policy Committee this to them and they say once we we end this report to them after discussion we can get some authorities to do some of these things. Then the next thing that we want to do there are other charges that we charge which are not uh, the, the property tax or the water consumption like plan approval fees the other services that we offer those are the proposal that we charge them directly in US dollars and also collect in, in US dollars. So those are some of the recommendations. The other issue that we were looking at also was...
very much, Your Worship. Um, I just wanted to just uh, highlight, but I think it's necessary for you to be able to explain in layman's terms exactly what we have decided to do as a council uh, so that we try and avoid um, miscommunication to the residents. Because, you know, we can just leave this uh, August house, totally after 30 minutes, how to the city of Harare now builds residence in US dollars. Exactly what we are doing and why we are doing it so that uh, exactly what we are trying to do. Thank you. Um, we are not moving out from our budget. We are keeping the budget as, as it was. But in a volatility here that we cannot be changing uh, every day. We are still in the mushrooms. What changes is the rate of the um, So as you were saying, our bill comes out in US dollars. But payment is done in RTGS or US dollars, depending on the, on the rate for that particular bill. That's, 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 that's what we're saying. Then for the other services, we still charge in US dollars. The payments still received in, in, in the multi currency system. The idea is just to keep to keep the value of the services that we are that we are offering. For the for what for what uh, residents owe, we can agree that if you owe um, maybe if you are owing five hundred thousand or a million to take, maybe after a week it will be worth very little. So we also want to preserve my ears of it, you know, my you know, my residents, such credit. So we want to find a way of converting it to hard currency. So the follow by the we 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 keep the value. I think that's that's the We are not we are not going to be breaking any laws. We are following my S I S account. We are So yeah yeah, I think we need to be sensitive. And also our U S dollar amounts, they sometimes tend to be they interpret themselves and then become too high. So we need to be careful about that because we have received complaints from residents about the interpretation uh, being, I, I don't know if you received them, FD, uh, but uh, yes. Special Council to deal with it so that we don't uh, unduly prejudice the, the council. But what do we do with money that we have? I don't know if you had reached that. Uh, the money in the state's account and so forth and purchasing, what needs to be done? Because I understand it's losing value. We have not used it. Oh, Tundokisha Finance Committee. Why, why are we not using it? How much is it? Uh, I think we have three billion. Plus three billion. Plus three billion. Why have we used it? So, well, we requested from, like, the last, the last time we did the discussion with the town they said they are bringing, they are taking to see how they can use the funds. We have been asked to do it. Okay. Makes sense. That to know. The money can just be used to come. because it, it's, it's being devalued. Mm -hmm. So what we need is an, an agent meeting which just buys equipment. I thought I'm to Yes, I think I think we need to have Oh, let's wait for the councillor to speak so that uh, yeah. I, I wanted to say your worship. Uh, let's quickly 
anything you have problems with it. Say from from environment, from whatever the department that uses money. Was us as finance, we are only going to authorize payment. But the project has to come from the user department. I understand that, but this is a law working. I would rather that department that uses money, the department that disperses money, leave this meeting, go and sit together. And in that same meeting, they call whoever needs to authorize whatever needs to be authorized and they sign. Varichi, Varipapo. Because a letter can take it, because we are not using an e-system here. Samba Cheche, there was one, one day when I asked and followed up a payment. The reason why it was not paid for four days is simply because it had gone into the wrong tray. Can you imagine? Something goes into the wrong tray, it doesn't get paid. Maybe I saw a tray in once a month. I would think, because of the disaster here, here current, I would think that that meeting has to be done concurrently. And all activities that have to be done arising out of the, that meeting have to be done spontaneously and contemporaneously. Because it's a contemporary problem. We are having a problem. You put there's a deliberate policy by the Reserve Bank to devalue the RTGs <laughs> and to follow a common a, a, the popular market. So, but they issued a notice three weeks ago. So we should use that money because they've told you what they are going to do. That they are going to allow the dollar, the RTGs to be free falling. So whatever you have in your account is going to lose value by the day. So you can't sit and watch. Because very soon, teachers will come meeting, you know, to talk about the deposit. 
But at the time when we said this thing, we were able to buy. So what can we do? What the timeline? Right. Can we have timeline out of this meeting? You would see, it, it can't be this difficult to buy a tractor. Honestly, a tractor is the most rudimental vehicle in the whole world. How, how can it be difficult to purchase a tractor? How, how complicated can it be to say, I want 10 tractors and you get them? Especially if the people who made it. The guy now who said the Jamera. They are just there in the open. Hmm? I, th I think what you are saying that automatically means that uh, I remember when you came from the trade we made the resolution mm -hmm. for those tractors to be made available. And now we are going to expire. The tractors are not available. It means that someone somewhere is deliberately sabotaging the procurement of those tractors. But tractors are actually open out of the world. Is as easy the government will be busy with the Emma, Rabra Tapra Mara, Maria Chapo. Is who's that thing about Tapra Tapra Mara, Maria Chapo, and who knew that the senior to Yasa Tapo? Sakaini Oshuka, who did not get to Mosek Ramun, Granda Ramun, who is a guy, as his father, Vana, and what you were only a child. His special partition matrata. Whoever was supposed to procure my tractors is now two months down the line. Let him be. I, I, I propose that he be paid to the HR committee. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about your focus on what you do. So now, go ahead and be HR about what you do. I don't want to be in the middle. Actually, TC, my tractors, it's a simple, it's the, smoke, the simplest thing to buy. The tractors are there. AFC is there. People just need to go and collect. Can I go off on the How do we watch tractors that flew all the way? Togo Matalisa is promising a mara to 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 move. A word per tractor, what tractor per word, truck and everything. We pay the deposit. If we had paid it, the time we had fee. Turn it out to one sector, but there are even the balance of that facility. Yeah. But now we are going to be chasing the auction, the auction rate. <coughs> when we would have paid it, the, a better auction rate, the, let's, let's, see, let's, let's find out what's happening. It is. And it's not, someone was saying borrowing powers. I think you need to help them find, they are not borrowing, is it? We are simply paying a, a, a deposit to a lease to purchase facility, like we do to pay a deposit on any contract and so forth. Let's accelerate. Tell our lawyers why are they taking so much time to finish this election? 
They must set them down and finish them quickly. That's the item six we are talking about. Yeah, road port. Road port in the in the in the so we proceed to recommendation under item six to nine. Item six. So you could make them pay the rates? Yeah, yeah, some advice came from the finance in, in terms of the issue to collect rates. That's why we had to look for... No, 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 no. This is a looting, a looting thing. Because you see, all the other sites, people are paying data. The site that we have with, the, with the, our council, there is nothing being paid to us. And and we can't allow a situation where people continue to pay, not to pay anything. That whole area which belongs to us is dilapidated. People are not paying red house. It was given to, to, to a motley crew of, of, of people who do not want to pay. All right, it's okay, Your, your Worship. Mm. What we can do for now, we can take it back to committee. Then we look into what you are considering so that we, we get an understanding of... But why is finance refusing? Let me hear. Why, why are we refusing? We are not collecting anything. How, what's the, that is the lamest excuse I've ever had, that the company is not paying rates. What is the remedy if someone is not paid rates? Chair said to the, that let's take it back to the committee. It will be proper because what we're suggesting is, as a council, they were arguing to, to say we collected uh, about 20,000 worth USD. Then we said, no, we need people who pay strictly in US dollar. Therefore, if as a council we are failing to collect strictly in US dollar, let's give a collecting agent so that they can strictly collect in, in US dollar. So that was the, the, the discussion in the committee. Yes, no, 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 but, but the, the, the issue, or the reason why it is it, it's business, is that the, the, the person who built it for us is saying, I can collect for you. Because Said Dilake is collecting heavily and is efficiently. And the, 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 that side looks swimmingly done. This side, which ostensibly belongs to council, People are not paying on time. It is it is dilapidated. It is not being maintained. We are not collecting any rentals. So the person who built then says, "Look, let me help you to collect, and I will take only ten percent." Oh, yes, Auntie. So, what is wrong with that? We can't continue irri dilapidated and not collecting any revenue. Well, at least we are finding flimsy excuses not to collect money when we have someone who is there 
saying I'm collecting the money. What, 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 is, the, what is the problem with that approach? That's why we are taking it back to committee so that we, we iron out the difference. Yes. <laughs> or we do the proper thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't see any difference. <laughs> yeah? Yes? Yeah. Thank you, Worship. Thank you. Dr. Mix, have a small minute business. I have an issue for my minister today, the 16th May uh, 2023. Uh, per presentation by Jerry Body Zimbabwe on dairy farm. My issue is clear on the time frame. Time frame would uh, propose time frame. This has to be clarified in this meeting. Otherwise, we end up giving. Uh, are you respond, you respond right away. So time frame is not very clear. I was clear. You talk to There's no time for chairperson. Then the GP, in your energy quitter, know what they are bringing. Remember, family, family, home. They have to narrow the seat. Despite the family, they do. Home, they do. do. What they are actually bringing to the seat. It's not clear in this dairy board. Okay. So my question is, in this report, a pass clear but what do we have a farm here for a period of time? This has to be clear in this meeting. Church people, farm in the red, move in the red, but if we are going to say to the city, despite what those manager or management contract, whatever. But the basic clear put it in this deal. So this thing needs to be clarified on those two issues that I have raised. Okay. I, uh, all right. They, they, on page five, they are saying they are bringing in one million to two million to rehabilitate cobra sewage treatment plant or even more. She also planned to undertake concurrent currently both projects. Then uh, they also, but what I think is that maybe we need to take note of what he's saying so that in the memorandum of agreement, then those things will be considered. And then we can object if it's, it's not much and, or we can agree because we can't uh, turn the, 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 the full council into a discussion of the nitty gritties. We need a draft and then we will then interrogate that proposal with the uh, alternatives. So are you saying in the agreement we're going to leave one person to decide we talk about two years, three years, five years? Oh, no, no, the agreement comes back to council. No, yeah. can I just help you, your know, worship? Mm. When the result to be recommended, mm. there is the item two. Mm. The acting town clerk, DBU, reports on the outcome of the feasibility studies mm. and due diligence exercise before entering into a memorandum of agreement with the dairy board holdings. Yeah. So they are going to come back and we are going to interrogate before they even sign the, the memorandum. So it's, I think it's covered in that context. Yeah, it, it, it's covered. What you need to do is that in all these projects, uh, people must factor in where people are going to get energy. They must, these things, uh, solar, a, a solar capability, and alternative energy must always be factored into some of these agreements. We must look at the building, Yoshia or Zesa. Yoshia or Magetsu or Magetsu are out to be So, So these things should also be incorporated in whatever we are doing. And we need an energy master plan. A, a, an energy master plan that allows us to re enter into the energy market a, and deal with issues of how we are going to sustain the energy demand <coughs> in the city. We need an energy master plan which will allow us to win ourselves from uh, Zesa 
the idea is that we will be a, a producer of energy in the fullness of time. So we should we should we should have that. Okay. So uh, yes, we can. Minister twenty three, I supported that uh, six to nine becoming the There is another item ten mm -hmm. for which I think I should momentarily excuse myself. I will allow Mr. to act in jail for a minute. I will beg. Well, what we need to do is how far are we moving with those issues that we discussed for this sunshine development? Sunshine development, thank you, Your Worship. The issue is to do it, uh, sunshine development, we have left it to, to, to our lawyers, the, the, the minister lawyers, and uh, to that effect, um, uh, I'm not sure how far they've gone, but uh, it was with the, 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 the uh, under the chamber secretary with the lawyers. So we can as well get a report how far they've taken it or how far, how far they've gone. Can you hold the meeting? Yeah. On the items that you were holding, hold the meeting and get a report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which are you doing? Did you repeat yourself on item 2? I do not see the continuum. Which minutes? Set of minutes. For instance, the last page, page 4. Of which, which set of minutes? 16 and 10. Because we are reappointing him. It's a routine reappointment. There is no item 10 minutes. On which minutes? 16 and 10. 16 and 10. There is no item 10 minutes. On which minutes? Business. Yes, this is so good. Take what? Uh, mm -hmm. 23 May. 23 May. Oh, you're looking at the wrong minute. Yes. That's taken us back, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's proceed. <laughs>
I report and move. <laughs> All right. Next one. so forth. Surely we can't uh, make people queue for us to collect money. It just doesn't make sense in this day and age and the multiple platforms that we have to be able to pay money. Let's, let's do it uh, quickly. That's the last one. Joint EMC and health. Let's take this. Yes, 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 yes. yes.
let the baron know later. But anyway, let's give development control a bit more resources and a, a way to react to my invasions and beat work. So that one of my one stop of one was at one spend the Maria Kawanda, one was at one Maria Kawanda. Council, uh, uh, to do, do it for the yes. No, what, what will happen is that the, the, the chief whip will then do the, the need to and then set the, the, the special council as soon as possible. Can I have to tell my signatures? I need to go down. Your Worship, I agree with the special council. Special council, you know, notice here for the hour. Obviously, it will be held maybe Friday or a Monday. And as council, we don't normally have my meetings on Friday. We need to see any Monday. My lady Baron, I, we are to work as we are speaking. No, for now, so my point is, in the move of motion, you could buy the special funding, you know, capacity that we have to development control. In both my vehicles, fuel, Last week they failed to enforce our enforcement because of these financial challenges. So as we wait for the, for the special council, part of the edge in attention a director of finance. The moment you fail to fund my illegal activities are with the administration. It means the revenue you need to do it means the rate. You get it. As I'm an invader, it will take 10 years using council resources. I should talk about Bin Mahara. I just have to Mahara. I should have anything to council. So I take this FD as a revenue stream in the quarter. So I am saying the point again, uh, Your Worship, problem at the end is to sanitize things. Even when you are in the balance area, it went really wrong area. These people are known. These people are political activists who are doing these things. And even their partners can get green. So these are criminals that we are supposed to deal, to deal with as a matter of agent. Okay, let's, let's give resources. The development control must go to those areas immediately. Uh, we must not wait for a special council meeting. We need to have those areas <coughs> removed by the government. We have a illegal invasion. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Your Worship. <laughs> um, Your Worship, you see, uh, this is why every time when I stand up, I always push for decentralization of services. These, these issues can be easily dealt with if we are operating directly from our district offices. If we decentralize our operations from the sewer, the waste management, the land, the land issues, and everything, they are easily managed at a local level. So I'm um, appealing to you, Your Worship. We push very fast so that we implement our decentralization policy, where the district offices will be in charge of every asset in, of council in their jurisdiction. Thank you, Your Worship. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Your Worship.
These people are everything from everywhere. They are, you know, if you go to our world, you, it's a shame. But council cannot even, uh, I mean, notify. And if I remember, it's going, it's going to court. Well, this council is not even involved in the issue. The council is the owner of the land, but someone is taking the other person to court. So I think we need uh, finance to capacitate uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the, the, the Bureau of Control to go and remove those people immediately. We don't need, we don't need meetings to, to remove those people. We need those people to be removed with the Bureau of Control with every asset that's needed to be uh, given by the finance. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I think that is quite a point. But in the challenge, we see, Isusu, plan from outside country. What the plan in the young country? Who's authority? We are not authority on the plan. We are the planning authority. We are understanding the, the powers that they of housing. Planning about planning, if I went about housing, under the normal channel. Yo, I own, I think the of housing must stand to him. She plans to have a GC. What's that? It's law. I want to write it. Then the young root in the plan. I want to. So what you need to do is that to stay with authority, the rubber housing, I need planning against the allocating office. Why, why? But then, but then, I don't understand. But, but uh, there's a racket within the system. Yet, team, you can't. Because you don't plan your own rubber housing, up your authority now. We have the planning authority, planning a bar for your own housing, they need to allocate. So no the development of housing, so I think these guys need to, 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 to strengthen my, my systems, our children, the government challenge, because they are conniving in our rubber housing. You authorize the rubber housing, you plan in the house, I want to. Thank you, sir. Joseph, um, yeah, I think I think this issue is not as simple as it is. I know finance funding a, a program that will, where we will not recover the cost incurred. I, I, I think your worship we might uh, miss it. I think the chamber the chamber secretary is there. I think they can look into the legal issues where we we sue individuals within the the land via the, the courts. Otherwise, to, to to say finance must fully fund, we are struggling with. Um, waste, we are struggling with um, water, and to say it must fully fund, you know, decentralize the system now. It means the team that we have is based uh, uh, at um, Cleveland, right? And you want the Mavuku, Borodeo, Budiriro, Glenview, Glenora. Even if we fund them fully today, we will not demolish all those structures within five days. So we need a proper system to keep this lane 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 to lane 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 and we want to warn our residents that we should put up systems to warn our residents that it is fitter to buy land from land barons. They must refer to the district offices to avoid them losing and end money when these things are then demolished. You end up building at a place where there should be a clinic, a school, and some such other things. Let's, let's move on. Let's someone second the check to, does it need to be second? Yeah, by Councillor Adebu. Someone second what to say. Okay. Yes, I second. Yes, second, yeah. Thank you, Yoshi. I'd like to end joint finance and development and also business committee. Councillor Manienga to put on. I report and move. Minister J.
Let's cancel these things. Let's cancel these things. They, they don't make sense. We can't be harassed and harangued by someone who claims Kutane land, yes, 1,000 stands, Munwan. Muarari. I don't understand. Mm. So let's, let's get a report from you, Director of Housing, especially Mabugu. Just cancel everything. Just cancel everything. Mozosa ku 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 kanzu tuta greipa. Tuchi bata kutika na munari leni baro naru tindi ya kendi ya cha komble. O o inda kunewa na rubu mtuma. Tuwa uza kuti kanzu ndo ya tija kutola peke. Sangati. That was the last item. Ah, what's that one? Je suis en Je suis 15 May, finance and uh, SMEs. No, it, it joined the entire seven join. SMEs and finance. Your policy launch. So it's a hard guard is on you this way. But we need something by close. Where? Yeah. 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 So that after the omission, Pane Panma invited uh, replacing Minister of uh, Minister of uh, Small to Medium Enterprises with the provincial and the female sector. Am I invited the guest? So because Minister of Fuji, Minister of uh, of Small to Medium, or replace on the female sector. No, I was guest. And this is the guest. Guest in the man. The guest in the man. But don't go out visa. I will be invited. Minister, I'll tell you. I'm focused on my campaign. Thank you. <laughs> so, I want to thank you, uh, councillors. Uh, I think we are at the tail end of our terms. I think we've got just one more council. We just have got one more full council before we call it. A day, as you know, the law changed during uh, the yesterday. They used to appoint commissioners. Eh? Now they can't, eh, or the uh, the law has changed. So we continue until Parliament is, uh, is 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 dissolved. So let's. I know a lot of us have faced different fortunes. Some are going to graduate to Parliament. Some are going to go and take care of their businesses at home. Uh, some are going to be paid here in various capacities. So with the results of the various primaries, and we will know uh, by nomination tomorrow um, where each one of us is going. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure working. Uh, it's one of the most difficult councils you know, recalls, arrests, and so forth. But we are here. We are not Ebenezer. We are not Chechi. So let's just keep the council functioning. Our committees have to work until the fake lady sings. So we are here. So I think we are going to be able to get the people who are going to be able to get the people who are going to be able to get the people. 
tunulamba tshiva shandira kushika the last chi the last minute shimeke shwa kuti guta ready really right so we want to wish everyone well when we hold this last council and then probably if there is a need we will hold ma special councils to deal with any special issues that have to be dealt with uh, coming to an organization and leaving an organization is not a life and death issue you come and you go apana muna no zvarwa zvidzi meya meya kana kuti achizvarwa chinzi councillor councillor kana minister minister anditika unongo zvarwa uko vakuzita kana president so we need to to accept the changes that come with life so that we are able to to move on and and be useful in other spheres so we thank you very much for coming today and uh, we will keep on trying to push the things that we have to push uh, so that the residents have uh, 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 the benefit of the work that we do so we can have someone oh and then we welcome tc as you know this is his first this is his first council meeting uh, after a, a hiatus, a sabbatical leave, and we congratulate him uh, on his success uh, 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 or being proven innocent. Uh, it is a bitter lemon, uh, but life is what it is. Uh, some of his colleagues were not uh, given the benefit that he got. But he's back, he's ready to go, he's working, uh, and, 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 and these things. Neniwo, Nagato Mubaupa, the Gatso Kao. But Nagashi will come up, but I can welcome you. So, and we saw the boss, Zoka, Mubaupa, Mubaupa, Wakariko Lewa. But Wakadini, Wakatsuka. So, we welcome you back. The rest of these issues still remain. We need to work hard. We need to make sure that we deliver a service uh, uh, to the people. It's nothing personal. People come, people go, uh, and, 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 and it is the way of the world. But we'll come back, and, and we hope that uh, uh, you can apply yourself, and I know the other colleagues we came, we have come. Uh, I think it is your duty to welcome uh, and then we, we move on. There were others who were in your acting capacity who were trying to hold the ship and help the ship uh, while they still were away. We appreciate their efforts and, uh, and, 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 and hopefully we will be able to, to work and deal with the residents' issues. So we can have uh, a close to prayer. Yes.